Call the meeting of the City Council to order. Please stand and join me as we salute our American flag. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Uh, Councilor Sullivan. I'd like, uh, I'd like to take uh, number 26 out of order if we could. Number Second. 26, that's a motion. Motion's been made and seconded. Second. Take number 26 out of order. All in favor of taking it out of order? Pause, we'll take item number 26 out of order, Mr. Clerk. The appointment of Lawrence Raleigh of 8 Athens Drive, Rockton as commissioner of the Department of Public Works for a three year term ending December 2017. Ready referred to the Committee on uh, Finance. That report is favorable. The question is on a confirmation by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Yes. 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 Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. 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 Ten in the affirmative. Ten in the affirmative. The appointment is, has been confirmed, and I believe uh, our <laughs> Chief Deputy Commissioner is here. Before I allow you to say something, I do want to uh, congratulate you, uh, Mr. Commissioner, but uh, I think on behalf of the City Council, I think all of us want to um, also congratulate you and commend you as a new DPW Commissioner um, and, and with your workers in the past 16, 17 days of what we've gone through here in the city with all this uh, uh, snow that I know you may have ordered because you felt it might be something different for you, but in any case, um, I want to say um, a job well done, Omen's job in, in getting you know, the city back on track and, and keeping up to the pace of, of everything that's been transpiring. So uh, a good job uh, well done to all of the DPW workers, men and women with, from within that department, and, and I mean that. Uh, uh, and I, I really think that we're, um, we're really on to something good with having you as our DPW commissioner. Thank you. Thank you. I'd just like to say thank you for this opportunity to be the next DPW commissioner. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Mr. President, I move for reconsideration in the hopes it does not prevail. Second. 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 Motion was made and seconded for reconsideration in hopes it does not prevail. All in favor of reconsideration? All opposed? Reconsideration fails. Councillor Stadinsky. Yes, Mr. President, if I might, a moment of personal privilege. You may, Councillor. Uh, the city lost a, a fine young man, a fine person, an excellent police officer, a wonderful dad, husband, and uh, the 20-year uh, veteran of the police department, Bob Morrissey, and an uh, eight-year battle with cancer. And uh, I'd like to ask for a moment of silence in his memory. Moment of silence. May he rest in peace. May he rest in peace. Thank you, Chief. Appreciate that. Uh, you ready, Mr. Clerk? Yes. First order. The appointment of Richard Linehan to the rank of temporary police lieutenant in the Brockton Police Department. The appointment of Robert Morrissey to the rank of temporary police sergeant in the Brockton Police Department. The report of the Public Safety Committee for its meeting of January 30th, 2015. Accepted and placed on file. Report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of January 20th, 2015. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from Lieutenant John Crowley requesting a leave of absence from his permanent position of lieutenant so that he may serve as an interim chief of police. The requested leave is for a period of 60 days with an effective date of January 16, 2015 in accordance with his employment contract. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor in accordance with Mass General Laws, Chapter 41, Section 61A, advising that effective as of noon, January 16, 2015, Lieutenant John Crowley has been appointed and duly sworn in as interim chief of police for the city of Brockton. Accepted and placed on file. From the mayor, in accordance with Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, recommending that the city council adopt an order which declares number 70 Highland Street, the Lincoln School, 
Map 53, Route 50, Plot 10, available for disposition and sale. Accepted and placed on file. The CFO, relative to the saying. Accepted and placed on file. The Mayor, in accordance with Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, recommending that the City Council adopt an order which declares 308 Montello Street, the Cochrane Building, Map 135, Route 74, Plot 305, and the associated parking lots across street, Montello uh, Street Parking Lot, Map 111, Route 58, Plot 71, available for disposition and sale. Accepted and placed on file. CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Indication from the Chief for the Fire Department requested that the City Council authorizes the acceptance and expenditures of the total grant award in the amount of $14,718 for Fire Safety Education Program. Accepted and placed on file. Indication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Indication from the CFO relative the same. Accepted and placed on file. Indication from the chief of the fire department requesting that the city council authorizes the acceptance and expenditures of an SFY 15 Massachusetts Municipal Public Safety Staffing Grant Award in the amount of $82,010 from the Commonwealth of Mass Executive Office of Public Safety and Security to be used for overtime necessary to maintain staffing levels. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the interim DPW commissioner requested that the city council authorizes the acceptance and expenditures of the Mass Department of Environmental Protection, Mass DEP, grant in the amount of $22,500 for the acquisition of battery electric vehicle and a level two dual head charging station. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication, we have the petition of Stephen Fishman of Cape Way Aluminum and Vinyl Inc. for a sign permitted located at 226 Montello Street that was referred to committee and return is favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Tedeschi. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. The order is adopted. The appointment of Philip Griffin, 19 Emory Street, as a member of the Brockton Redevelopment Authority for a five year term ending in January two, uh, 2020. Uh, recommendation is favorable. Uh, the question is on a confirmation by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Yes. 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 Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Ten in the affirmative. The appointment is confirmed. Appointment of Craig S. Andre, 48 Thurber Avenue, as a member of the Brockton Board of Health for a three year term ending January 2018. Ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. The question is on a confirmation by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. <coughs> Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. <coughs> yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Nine in the affirmative. And the appointment has been confirmed. The appointment of Robert J. Pelagi, 942 West Chestnut Street, is a member of the planning board for a five year term ending January 2020. Ready to refer to the Committee on Finance. Our report is favorable. The question is on a confirmation by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. 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 And the appointment has been confirmed. The appointment of Gerald Smith, 107 Darren Drive, Brockton, the Brockton Redevelopment Authority, for a five-year term ended in January 2020. Ready to refer the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. The question is on a confirmation by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. 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 And the appointment has been confirmed. An appropriation of four thousand dollars from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts Department of Public Health, the Fire Department Physical 15 Mass Decontamination Unit Grant. The Fire Department intends to use these funds to man the upkeep of the Mass Decontamination Units and purchase supplies. Ready to refer the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. And the question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. 
Yes. And the order has been adopted. Order that the DPW is authorized to issue one single family home sewer connection to the Barris Realty Group LLC, 1035 Leyden Street, Brockton, for the property located at parcel ID 180-023, plot 14. Refer to the committee on finance. I report as favorable. The question is on adoption by Mr. a roll President, call vote. Uh, Councilor Dubois. Would it be out of order for me to postpone this for two weeks? Is that something I can make right now? Postpone it for two weeks? Till the next um, city council meeting. Did you want to? Did you want, do you, is that what you prefer? I would like to make a motion to postpone this to the next city council meeting. Motion has been made. Do I have a second? Second. Yes, motion has been made and second that we postpone this, this item here to the next city council uh, meeting, which would be uh, the last one in, uh, in February. All in favor of that? Opposed? been postponed until that date. Thank you. Thank you. Order that the DPW was authorized to issue one single family home sewer connection to Turian Associates Real Estate Affordable Properties, 41 Arlington Street, Brockton, for the property located at 15 Intervale Street, Brockton. Ready for the Committee on Finance, our report is favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Why? Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eleven in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Order that pursuant to the provisions of Mass General Law, Chapter 44, Section 53A and one half, the City Council accepts a gift from the Brockton Library Foundation of 29 high efficiency windows for the West Branch Library Building. Refer to the Committee on Finance. I report as favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Napoli. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Pioneering. Yes. Monica. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Levin in the affirmative. The order is adopted. Order that the city accepts the four year phase in towards uh, conclusion of retired teacher health insurance costs and determining net school spending compliance commencing in fiscal 2016 is specified in section 260 of chapter 165 of the acts of 2014 in the Brockton Public Schools. We're going to refer to the Committee on Finance. Our report is favorable. Are the question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Ionieri. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. 11 in the affirmative. And the order is adopted. Order that the City Council authorize the approval of the solar power and service agreement between Sun Edison Organization, LLC, and the City of Brockton. Ready to refer the Committee on Finance. Our report is favorable. Council President Sullivan. Uh, as you may recall, when the gentleman came back here uh, recently before this party, we had requested that they, uh, they incorporate into the agreement uh, a clause or, or a representation that they would be using union labor, local union labor, yes. uh, relative to this job. So I just want to make sure before we take a vote tonight, the agreement, is it as amended? Because we did get an email saying that that was going to be done. Do we know if that was done, Mr. Clerk? Or no? Mr. President, important information. I think my, uh, to, uh, through you, Mr. President, to my colleague. Council, Council Stewart. I think we agreed at that meeting that verbally we made that statement and wanted to have that on the record, but that an amendment to the order was not necessary, if I remember correctly. Now, if it were made, then that was. Oh, Councilor, I think you're talking about the windows for the library. What I'm talking about is Sun Edison. Got they it. made I'm a representation. Okay, you're right. Thank you. So, do you wish to move on this? This. I would make a motion that this. Just be moved to the next council meeting. Yeah. Okay. Second. Okay. Motion been made and seconded that we uh, also postpone this item till the next city council meeting. Thank All you. in favor? Opposed? We'll hold that till the next city council meeting as well, Mr. Clerk. Sure. Resolved that Fire Chief Francis, Chief Financial Officer John Condon, and Mayor Bill Carpenter be invited to appear before a committee of this council to purchase two new tower trucks for the Brockton Fire Department. Ready to refer the committee on finance. Our report is favorable. The question is on President. Uh, council Dubois. Uh, Down. I'm going to ask that this uh, resolve be uh, moved to the February 16th Finance Committee and ask that um, Chief Francis, Chief Financial Officer, and Mayor Bill, Bill Carpenter come in and um, speak to this topic again. Second. 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 Motion's, been made, motion's been made and seconded that this item be referred back to the uh, Finance Committee meeting, which will be Tuesday, February the 17th. Oh, thank you. Um, motion's been made and seconded. All in favor? Opposed, it will go back to the finance meeting uh, that will be heard next uh, Tuesday. Thank you, Councillor.
Order that the City Council hereby declared number 70 Highland Street, the Lincoln School, at 53 Road, 50, Plot 10, avail available for disposition and sale <coughs> to the most advantageous pro <laughs> proposal after soliciting requests for proposals, and further that the Mayor be and hereby is authorized to execute any and all documents necessary to dispose of said property. Council, this, uh, council, this item will be referred to finance. Associated Montello Street parking lots located at map 111 route 58 plot 71 and map 135 route 73 plot 304-1 as shown in the attached plans available for the disposition and sale to the most advantageous proposed so after soliciting requests for proposals and further that the mayor be it hereby is authorized to execute any and all documents necessary to dispose of said property. And this item will also be referred back to finance council. Both those items will hear at finance and then if anything we will probably move it to the real estate committee at that point. Next item, Mr. Clerk. Appropriation of $14,718 as follows. Commonwealth of Mass, Department of Public Safety, Fiscal 2015, Student Indeed, Awareness of Fire and Education, Safe Grant to Brockton Department, Fiscal 15, Student Aware of Fire Education Safe Grant Fund, $11,123. And from the Commonwealth of Mass Department of Public Safety, Fiscal 2015, Senior Awareness of Fire Education Safe Grant Fund, to Brockton Department Fiscal 15, Senior Awareness of Fire Education Safe Grant Fund, $3,595. The fire department intends to use these grant funds for their fire safety education program. Council Mr. President, Council. I received information through the auditor's office that there is danger of the city losing, actually number 36 and 37, due to the fact of the weather stopping us from having meetings. So I believe I'd like to make a motion to have this uh, Spence tonight on the suspension of the rules. Second. Second. Motion's been made and <clears throat> seconded that we spend, suspend the rules in item number 36. So you wish to do the same in item 37? On 37. Seven. So why don't we um, do them uh, all uh, collectively, uh, Mr. Clerk, and then we'll take a vote uh, suspending the rules on both of them. Appropriation of $82,010 from the Commonwealth of Mass Executive Office, Public Safety and Security. Fiscal 15, Massachusetts Municipal Public Safety Staffing Grant, Brockton Fire Department. Uh, fiscal 15th, Mass Municipal Public Safety Staff Staffing Grant Fund. These grant funds will be used for overtime necessary to maintain staffing levels. Motion has been made, and I believe it was seconded. We're going to take items number 36 and 37 um, <coughs> under the suspension of the rules and act on them this evening. Are we all in favor of that? Opposed? Uh, Mr. Clerk, would you please call the roll? Azak? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Annapolis? Yes. Why? Yes. Ionary. Yes. <clears throat> yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eleven in the affirmative. And the orders have been adopted. What is it? Do I do reconsider right here? That's, That's number 39, 39, right? 38. 38. 38, 22, yep. 5. Yep. Appropriation of $22,500 from Mass Department okay. of Environmental Protection, Mass Electric Vehicle <laughs> Incentive Program Grant to DPW Refuge Division Department yeah, was, and was, uh, <coughs> Equipment Lease, mm -hmm. Mass Electric Vehicle Incentive <laughs> Program Grant Fund for the purpose of acquiring no one battery today. electric vehicle and a level two dual head charging station. Referred to finance. Not in submitting chapter two of the revised ordinances of the city of Brockton, be it ordained in section 2 28 Compensation is amended by changing the amount of $10,000 to $15,000 with an effective date of January 2016. Referred to finance. Resolved that the city solicitor be invited to appear before a committee of this council to review the issues of compliance with section 2 301 of the revised ordinances of the city of Brockton. Referred to finance. Resolved that the superintendent of the schools be invited to appear before a committee of this council to provide an update relative to the Brockton school system. Uh, that's going to be referred to finance, but it will be the first finance meeting in March, March 2nd, um, 2015. Resolved that a representative of Stonehill College be invited to appear before a committee of this council to review the relationship of between the city and the college relative to the provisions of city services. Um, referred, to, uh, re referred to finance as well, and council is just um, on item number 40. That item should be going. Uh, that item should be going to ordinance, not to finance. 39. I'm sorry. Is it 39? Excuse me. Item number 39 should be going to ordinance and not finance. My error. Thank you. Go ahead, Mr. Clerk. 
resolved that the mayor, city solicitor, and the chief financial officer be invited to appear before a committee of this council to review the legal and financial implications of the city's contract with Aquaria. Referred to finance. Councilor Cruz. Uh, thank you. I'd like to take a moment of personal privilege. Uh, uh, not only do we lose a wonderful police officer this week, but the city lost a, uh, a great uh, booster and uh, someone that we all saw so many times uh, in his first role as the uh, husband and supporter of his longtime school committee wife, Janice Byer, but also as one of the finest artists and did some of the greatest work to show some of the wonderful things happening in Brockton. And we, uh, we lost a, a good man this past week in Bill Byer, and I'd like to ask for a moment of silence for, for Bill. Thank you. May he rest in peace as, uh, as well, a long-standing Ward 3 resident as well. Um, Councilors, just a couple of uh, housekeeping items. Um, first off, I want to thank everybody for coming together this evening. Uh, I know I worked feverishly this morning to reach out to all of you, and you reached back to me, so I truly appreciate the fact that we were able to put together uh, this meeting, because if not, we would have been really backlogged um, as we went through the next week or two, and even as we went into uh, the first uh, meeting in March. Our finance meeting uh, will be next Tuesday evening, February 17th, 7 p.m. here in the council chambers. Monday is a holiday. Um, as you know, it's President's Day. I guess it's my day, but in any case, um, that's why we're meeting on Tuesday. Um, I did commend the DPW commissioner and his staff, his uh, many, many workers and hard workers as, as that they are, for all that they've been doing for the last 15, 16 days. As you know, we've been through uh, somewhat of a situation here in the city of Brockton, and, and I can't even re recall it. Now I've got a few more years on some of you as, uh, well, Councilor Stadinsky and I might have about the same years. But in any case, I mean, it's been a long time since we've seen this type of a blast of winter, and we're not out of it yet. And that's, what, that's what's very scary about the whole situation. But all in all, I, I, think, I think everybody has is, is done rather well in keeping our city uh, open, keeping it so that people could get to the destinations that they need to, uh, our, our emergency um, you know, uh, responders, our police, our fire, our, our emergency management team, as well as the mayor's office and his staff. And I know you've all been seeing the fact that now we're part of the city messenger, and I think that's something that that's, uh, was well overdue. Um, you know, on that end, not so much our end, and I think um, everyone's come to senses to that. So um, it, it hasn't been easy, but uh, I do want to uh, commend them because I think they've done a, uh, done a great job um, with, uh, with everything as well. Um, that being said, I don't know if anyone else has any other... Uh, Mr. President, moment of personal privilege, if Council I could. Sullivan. I want to wish uh, happy birthdays to two of my favorite constituents. My son, Tommy, turns eight today. And my wife, Maria's birthday is tomorrow. She's a little older than eight, so I want to there wish you go. Well, <laughs> happy, happy birthday. birthday. Matt, matter of fact, it was eight years ago I was standing right here, and I announced that he was born. And I said, sooner or later, he'll be sitting here at some point, I, I'm, I'm sure. Councilor Council Dubois. I have a moment of personal privilege. Yes, you may. Councillor Sullivan has made me um, realize it's my brother's birthday today. Uh -huh. So I'd like to risk my brother, Bob Dubois. Happy birthday. Happy Thank birthday you so to much. Bob. Happy birthday. Anyone else have anything else to come before this? Uh, Mr. President, well, since we're doing that, it's my sister's birthday, so happy Yay. birthday to my sister Mary. Hey, there we go. <laughs> Next time we'll just get one large cake. That's, right. that's what we need to do. Any Which other one? business? Any other? Seeing none, this meeting's adjourned. That, that went well. Funny.